What's the deal, YouTube? It's your boy, the homie Kurt. We back with another video today. And today, I'm going to show you how to download loops on YouTube. There's um, there's hundreds of sites you can find loops. It's just today, I'm going to just go ahead and go the straight, straightforward route and show you how to find loops on YouTube, how to download them, and then how to install them into Info FL Studio. Oh, excuse me. Sometimes it can be a pain trying to install them into FL Studio, so I'm gonna just make it short and simple and sweet for y'all, so you won't, so you won't be confused. Cause I know sometimes installing files and shoot, when we get to, uh, I'm gonna make another video on how to install plugins. That's a whole other ball game. So for sure, these files is a little more simple, but you can still get confused. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you how to download loops. And then how to install them into FL Studio into your into your um into your files over here. This is where your where your loops will be over here. Whatever whatever files that you have your loops in. Like I have mine. I have my loops over here. It's just loop twenty three. You know right. Here. How you been having respect ever since? Stuff like that. Your loops will be over there. So those are just some just 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 an example of the loops. Like what kind of file I have them in. So this is this is how I got mine. I have some over here, but depending on what type of loops you have, because there are hundreds hundreds and different types of loops. So the loops I have or the loops that that I have in certain certain files like this one. Got some Detroit loops in here, you know, the Zaza loops. Those are like for Detroit, you know what I'm saying? Those is right there. That's in that that's separate in a different file. Also, I got some trap, uh, some trap, um, uh, some trap loops right here. It's just a separate file. It's just, just so everything's not in one. And so I won't get confused looking for certain loops or looking for a different type of genre in the loop. So on everything, make sure your files is organized and you have a specific spot for your, for your loops, your midis and shit, your drum kits too. So on everything. Organize, organize your files. That's that's one thing I'll say to organize your files. But what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and go to YouTube, go ahead and show you how to get some loops on YouTube. And what I pulled up, I pulled up Zaza, you know the the um, Detroit type beats that I was using. He got he got those Detroit loops, and they go crazy. Go ahead and check them out. Sub to his channel. This is his uh, channel right here, Zaza Dash R H five E Y. Uh, I I try searching up just Zaza, and yeah, you ain't gonna probably find them. So just put those in there, or just find uh, or or what I do sometimes too is just punch in Zaza Detroit type beats, D Detroit type beat loops or Detroit loops. I keep mixing that up. It's a tongue twister right there. But yeah, what we're gonna do, as you can see, I already checked most of these out I already watched them but what we're gonna do is check this last one out and this is just this is just to show you how to download free loops on youtube so we're gonna check this out man we're gonna pause that we ain't well, we're gonna turn the music down skip that all right so all right so we're back we got the um video loaded up had to fix some things had to go back and fix a few things but yeah so we got the video loaded up now usually when you go to these free free um free loops on youtube usually they will have the um link to get the uh, loops in the description you just scroll down usually it'd be somewhere over here go ahead and hit that link but sometimes they might have it in the in the comment section too in case you might not see it, it might not see it in the description so yeah just scroll down check the comment we'll check the description then check the comments first if if you can't find it in the description so it's either one of these two now what i'm gonna do let's go ahead and click that now some links are different some give you this some might give you a dropbox directly and then others might have something else maybe um uh not drop uh they have dropbox but also um dang what's another one 
yeah, it's, it's Dropbox, and then this one, and there's another one. But yeah, usually with this one, it's real simple and straightforward. All you gotta do is just follow them on Instagram. Boom, boom. They like the video on whichever video that pops up when the link um, shows up, which I'll show you in a second. But you just do those two, and then you unlock the link, and then you get the um, loops, the the link for the loops, and you'll be able to download them right away. So let's go ahead and do that. Boom, boom, boom. Go ahead and follow on the gram. Bam, bam. We already did that. Go back. Hit the next one. You can just exit that one out. Then let it load up. Like the video. Boom, boom. And then come back to the next. Well, come back to the, to the original link. And boom. Unlock link. So you got the um, loops right here. And it'll pop up. Now, so now we in Dropbox. Now, something I would like do every time is just distract them all. Cause downloading, you can download them, but then they might take you to a different, different tab, and they'll basically have you extract them, all of them again, which is is really weird. So I just do this, extract them all, just to bypass an extra step that you don't really need to do. So what I do is do this, open in Dropbox. Bam, bam, and select them all. Boom, 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 boom. Select them all, bam, bam. And what you'll do is click download, and then boom, you'll be able to download, well, it'll be downloaded in your um, files, your file explorer. So bam, after you do all that, so you just leave, leave your Dropbox, you can go ahead and exit that out. Boom, boom. Minimize those, don't really need those anymore. And then what we're gonna do is head to the downloads. And this is something that's very important and that will, something, this is very crucial in my opinion because this will help you uh, put your files in FL Studio and it'll, it'll appear up there. It'll appear on your FL Studio because if you just do it like this without extracting the file yeah, it's going to be a pain in the butt trying to get that on your FL studio so the best way to do it just to keep in mind if your files are zipped that's why they have this little zip thing right here by the icon if your files is zipped click that joint and extract all just hit that extract make sure it shows extract when completed well that's optional you don't have to do that hit that extract button all right and this this just shows what's in the when you after you extract it it just shows you the file boom boom you just exit that out now what i do just to save time and save save just save time is just to delete this delete this joint is it's not really needed you already have what you need and this that that zip file is not needed what you got right here bam bam is all you need because this is the file that we need or that the file that we want and what I do is just drag these into my documents because that's where all my files are for FL Studio. And I will put these, since these are the Detroit type beat loops, I'm going to put these down here. What I do is just drag them, drag them into whatever folder you want to put them in. And, and boom, just right, right here. And it's in there. So it's in there in the files right there. So before, let me show let me show you real quick. Let me throw these back in downloads. Let me throw those back. Or actually, yeah, sorry about that. Throw those back in downloads. Not downloads, documents. Throw them back in documents. So boom. All right, so it's right there. Now I'm going to show you how this file thing all works. So boom. Got my Detroit pack right here you see you don't see the memories loop pack right it's not there yet now boom what helps installing files to is exit out fl studio if you already had it open go ahead and exit that out before transferring over your files exit that out go back into your files click the files click the files or the click the loops that the files in Drag those into whatever files you want. 
and boom, it's already in there. It's in there with everything else. Bam, bam, everything in there. Loops in there, tag in there. Boom. Go ahead and go back to documents. Minimize those. Open FL Studio. Once you open FL Studio, go ahead and check your files to see if it's in there. And boom, boom. It's there. Just like making a beat, go ahead and fix your BPM before you drag your loop. Before you drag your loop into your uh, into your track or your pattern. Boom! You got loops in your FL Studio ready to make a beat. Now you, can, now you can throw your drums in there. Now you can throw your extra layers, extra pads, whatever you want. So now you got your loops in there. All right, and that is how you download loops from YouTube or whatever website you got them, you find them on. That is how you download loops and install loops in FL Studio. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go ahead and leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you in the next video.